Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanding Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. All right, it's time for another Karen Travis novel. We can't get enough of her, can we? Uh, this one is called Triple Zero and it is about Omega Squad. Once again, another adventure. Um, I don't really have to talk about this one too much on the storyline. Uh, because it kind of connects to the rest of them. Uh, triple Zero does refer to Coruscant. Coruscant's navigational you know, numbers within the universe is zero, zero, zero because that's the center of the universe. Um, so that's where it comes from and it does have to deal with Coruscant. Um, so what did I think about this book? Well, I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. This is my number two most hated novel in the expanded universe. Oh, oh no! Oh no, I said it! Uh, am I really going to go up against the almighty Karen Travis, who every fan loves? I am. I'm sorry. I can hear the outrage. If I didn't get you during Shatterpoint, I know I got you now. And I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, these books get uh, just re referred to by all fans, if you haven't read the uh, Timothy Zahn books, you've probably read the Clone Wars books. I know a lot of people love Karen Travis' Clone Wars, and that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I enjoyed the first book, but starting with the second book, I did not like it. And you're thinking, Matt, why did you not like this book? It was awesome. It had a lot. It did have a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, let me think. It had, you know, infiltration. You know, uh, deceit. You know, you paranoia, you didn't know what was going on. It had action. Also had Darman getting the Jedi Etan pregnant and having a baby. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. A clone trooper and a Jedi fall in love and have a baby. It's quite possibly one of the dumbest things I have ever heard in a story. Yeah, I, I never hear people make fun of this when they make fun of the EU, and they should, because I would have no comeback for that. When I read it, I was like, that doesn't sound right. Clones are basically, you know, children. It's like uh, Tom Hanks from the movie Big. These guys were kids just a few weeks ago, you know, a few months ago. Now they're grown men, and a Jedi knows what they are, and a Jedi should be wise and smart, but they have feelings for the clone. And I, I'm all for giving clones a personality, but giving them a Jedi girlfriend and a baby on the way? No. No, I don't like that story at all. Um, so I, I really don't like this book because of it. And it, it was, it fought for my number one uh, most hated book, but it's, it's the second worst book ever. Because I just, that storyline, that possibility, probability, makes zero, zero sense to me. And I, I know I'm going to outrage uh, more people again. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, but I, I did not like that part of the story um, at all. And that dominate, sadly, that dominated the story for me. When I saw that, I was like, ugh. It's like they just introduced, um, you know, Bugs Bunny into the Star Wars universe. No, not that rabbit. You know what I meant. They took some ridiculous, you know, idea and they threw it in there, and you're going, "Wait, what?" It's like you're reading the, you're reading about Luke Skywalker and Han Solo. Then all of a sudden, they go to a Ch Chuck E. Cheese on Earth, and they start eating pizza and playing skeet ball and and talking about, you know, knocking over stormtroopers. I mean, you'd be like, "No, no, no!" It's a Star Wars Tales moment written in a book. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I really just did not like uh, the series after this. It just it put a bad taste in my mouth. Um, I, I think Jedi, I know the Jedi's visions are clouded. Uh, Jedi are forbidden to love. I mean, and, but we've had stories where Jedi fall in love, but they don't go out and have babies. I don't know. I don't know. It just didn't seem to jive with Jedi, with clones. It didn't seem to be relevant to the story, even though later on, yeah, I guess it is. But I, I really just didn't like it. That's just me. Again, folks, if you're watching these saying, what EU book should I uh, read? Don't write this one off because once again, Matt stands alone on an island against every other EU fan. Uh, so tell me what you thought in the comments about this, if you liked it and why. Remember, we disagree, but we agree to disagree. 
All right, folks, that is all the time I have for today. What? What? Wait a minute. You got romantically involved in a Jedi? When? There's Jedi on the beach. Huh. I did not know that. Well, I just hope you were careful. And what? You had a baby? Ugh.